Hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. On the VeChain chart, we are still in this wave two correction. Um, at least I'm counting it as a wave two correction, which started here on the 1st of July, this swing high. Yeah, I'm counting it as a wave two, as long as we're holding above 1.51 cents. So the idea at the moment is we rallied higher here in a wave one and we're coming down in a wave two and the relevant bullish support is 1.51 cents. There are two, two scenarios, two wave counts, I would say, that I'm primarily, well, that I'm following here. First one is, of course, that we rallied in a wave one and then had an A wave already done, the B wave already done of the wave C. And we're now, sorry, yeah, the, the B wave already done of the wave two. And we're now in the wave C. And the C wave is a five wave move in which we already completed a wave one, a wave two. The wave three could still be in the making in an ABC structure. Um, basically like Bitcoin as an ending diagonal, yeah, this whole move down in a wave C, then we could get a wave four and a wave five. And I'm sort of watching for the support at 1.738 cents and 1.647. Um, I need to move these waves across because it's just taking longer and longer. Today, we've seen a little bit of a sell reaction, but we haven't broken below this trend line here that we've been talking about in recent days. Um, so we're dealing here with a potential Elliott wave triangle as well. That would be the second count, the second most likely count, because what could also be the case that this B wave actually here in yellow is actually unfolding as a triangle. But I haven't really got any major um, evidence for it. So we just need to be ready, but it could it would lead to the same outcome, basically lower. But the condition would be that it's breaking below this trend line finally. And very important as well, we need to stay below resistance. So, so far, price has reacted very nicely to my red resistance zone at 0 0.02055, communicated already, I think, weeks ago. So the idea is as long as we stay below that 78.6 FIB level up here, we focus on lower until we get a complete pattern in this wave two correction and it's not complete yet at least i'm not happy with it yet and then we need to be watching for a buy reaction somewhere down here and if we see a first five wave move to the upside then followed by a three wave pullback we've got our next setup and we can identify uh, or we can argue that price has already bottomed here in the wave two <clears throat> what you can also see is that we have a head and shoulders here head and shoulders pattern, a bit ugly, but it is one and it could break down and would hit sort of the area around the golden ratio, 1.64 cents. So from that point of view, absolutely no change, but just be aware that as long as we stay below 2.055, the focus is on lower short term until we get a complete pattern. Ideally, I would like to see two more lows, okay? Um, you already see it labeled on the chart anyway highlighted in yellow, I would like to see the third wave to be completed, the fourth wave and the fifth wave. And then somewhere down here, we should see a turnaround and a rally in the third wave. If an earlier rally will play out if we already now break above that 2.055 cent level, the 78.6 FIP level of the resistance yeah, zone. Okay, that's my update about VeChain. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.